What falls faster, an anvil or a feather? Let's find out. Minecraft gravity works in mysterious ways. Ouch! Isaac Newton discovered gravity when an apple fell on his head. When you drop something, it falls down, right? Except in Minecraft, where some things fall downwards and others don't. This would confuse the hell out of poor old Newton, and it certainly confuses me. So, what exactly is affected by gravity in Minecraft? Well, there's you and me, the players. Geronimo! And mobs. Um, he did that himself. And there's minecarts and boats. And any kind of sand drops, except for soul sand. And all types of gravel and concrete powder and anvils. And scaffolding if you build too far out. And items. And water and lava. And TNT, but only if it's ignited. That's quite a lot of stuff, actually. But what I want to know is, does it all fall at the same speed? Do I fall faster than water? Will TNT fall more quickly than a mob? And shouldn't an anvil reach the ground before a feather does? It's really heavy, right? I think it's time for some experiments. Here are some mobs that have volunteered to jump for science. Don't worry, this is perfectly safe. There is water at the bottom. So, this mob is pretty big and this one is quite small. Will that make a difference? Off you go. Hang on. That chicken was cheating. It's flapped its wings. Okay, let's try this. Hmm. They're about the same, I reckon. Let's try a few more mobs. What about this beefed up piglin brood? Will it fall faster than this lightweight skeleton? Oh dear, the water has evaporated. Ah, never mind. No, both mobs hit the ground at the same time and met their grisly end. Oh well. And what about me? Do I fall faster than this llama here? Whoopee! Hmm. Inconclusive. Maybe we need to go higher. Okay, so we have established that mobs and players fall at the same speed. And we sadly lost the llama. I feel bad. But what happens if you're in a vehicle? So I'll get into this boat and... Ah, so you fall slower in a boat. And of course, you don't take fall damage. Brilliant. What about liquids? Liquids follow gravity. They flow down. So will I fall slower than water or lava? Okay, lava is super slow. But water is also slower than most mobs and players. Aha. Now let's quickly check out the gravity blocks. So sand and concrete powder launching now. And they all fall at the same speed. Okay. Do they fall faster or slower than mobs in minecarts? Cats don't actually take fall damage. So let's go. Ready? Ah, okay. The cat falls fastest. The blocks are next and the minecart is slowest. Yeah, apologies to the goat. Uh, but the cat here seems perfectly fine. Let's move on to items. What about items? Are you ready, cat? Three, two, one, go. Woo! Rocket cat lands first, the blocks land second, and yeah, the item is definitely the slowest. Well done, cat. So, we have figured out that items are pretty slow, but we still don't know how fast anvils drop. Are they faster or slower? Before we answer that question, look at all this junk. We need to tidy this up. And what's better for making a mess disappear than a bit of TNT? So let's pop the TNT here and load this dispenser with flint and steel. And while we're here, let's see if this bomb lands first or if we get a chance to run away. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, well, uh... The TNT exploded in mid-air and was definitely slower than me, so maybe we need to tidy this up the old-fashioned way. So I think if we want to find out about the anvil and the feather, we really need to try them against each other. I'll pop the feather here and the anvil there. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Wow! They fall at the same speed. Well, now we know, and here are all the droppable things all together. One big comparison. Amazing! See how they go! 
yeah, okay. Right, so the final result of my scientific experiment from slowest to fastest is here. Lava falls slowest and as we move along things get faster until we reach players and mobs. They fall the fastest. Minecraft gravity is definitely weird. Are you surprised? I'm DP Blether and if you have any crazy Minecraft questions that you want me to investigate, leave a comment. And if you want to see what happens when a shulker hits a warden and all sorts of other mobs, check out this video here. Bye bye!